I have to do something at the beginning of the video so I can have a thumbnail. Hey everybody, it's me, Derek the Chocolate Botanist. If you are seeing this in the futuro on the inst on the YouTube, rather like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm gonna be up here for 30 minutes. If you are uh, watching this now, then like give me some hearts. Tell me how y'all are doing today. I got some stuff I was gonna unbox the last time I was up here, and I did not. You know why? Because I was like, y'all wanna see the unboxing? Let me know. And then the people was like, get out of here. You ashy, nappy-headed hoe. Y'all remember when that Don Amos said that to the people? He said they were nappy-headed hoes. I'm going to be unboxing. <laughs> I'm going to be unboxing stuff today. Um, okay. Oh, I can message the viewers now. That's a different feature. How are y'all doing? I'm trying to wave to all of y'all. Please tell me how y'all are doing. I know some of you probably pop in to see like if I'm immediately doing something. Like I feel like some of us do that where we just pop in and be like, oh, he, he's talking. Pop right out. I just got up here. I just got up here. Like, give me a second to see how y'all are doing. How are y'all doing? I see some hearts. Are y'all typing how y'all are doing? I've asked so many times. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I got this box. Hey there, Super Deaconess. You know, this is so much easier when y'all talk to me on Instagram. When y'all talk in the comments and stuff, this makes it so much easier for me to work with. But I got this box here. I got this from, I think, Pafe. P-A-F-E plants, and this is a plant that I had wanted somewhere um, out there if love can see us through. They used to be on a commercial. Um, I'm good. I always stay. You, some of y'all do always stay. Some of the rest of y'all, though, y'all be leaving out. But Super Deaconess, though, she don't leave. So I'm going to rip this box open. You about to get you a little snack. Look, I just left the Wendy's, and I had prayed as I'm opening this box. Unboxing here for those of you coming in. I said, Lord, if you love me like you say you do, and I know you do, then what you can do is, this is a lot of cardboard. What you can do is let these spicy nuggets be spicy and actually nuggets and not little hockey pucks. Sometimes I get the spicy nuggets from the Wendy's, and they just be... This is a lot of unboxing. Sometimes I get the spicy nuggets from the Wendy's and they be little rubble, made of rubble. And I don't like that. So I prayed and my food wasn't all the way good. I don't know what it is about since the pandemic. I wish these companies would pay people more because they just don't be doing what they do. Whew, here we go. So I got this baby here. I left it in the box a little longer than I wanted to. But this is a trade scantia. Um, I think this is Moses in the Cradle. Okay, and I need to give you a little bit of a treatment so y'all can see it here. Food don't be fooding. And it's not just that I had COVID twice. And it's like my taste buds are going. Like I never lost my taste when I had COVID. I lost my sense of balance. I didn't lose my taste. Um, but, ooh, they take this up here. Hey, Mason! Hey there, James! But this is the plant I'm unboxing right now. So two things I'm unboxing. And then a third thing I'm gonna reveal. And y'all make sure y'all stay to the end for that. Oh, God, this plastic, I tell you, trying to, like, do stuff without knocking things over on a live video is real different for me because I just recorded a video that I'm going to post on my YouTube. Are y'all checking out my YouTube? Because I have my Grow, Growing Victoriously series. And boom, boom. I have my Growing Victoriously series on YouTube. And I have a video I recorded for that, and I knocked something off of the patio. And it's been a very long time since I've done that. Those of you who've been following me for a while know every time I used to record on the patio, I would drop everything, including the phone. <laughs> I've Not this phone. I think the previous phone I had. Oh, God, I knocked that one over the patio so many times. But ain't this nice? And it held up to be in the box for way longer than it should have been. I should have immediately unboxed it, but I wanted to unbox it here for you all. So that was the first thing. Beautiful trade scantia. We used to call them a wandering racial and like religious sect of people, but we don't call them that anymore because that is prejudiced. 
We don't do that. So we call it Wandering Dude. The people in Philly say Wandering John. I don't know what J-A-W-N, how that got there, but it is what it is. So, boom, plants. And I'm ignoring your big back behavior comments, super deaconess. So I got this next thing, inch plant. That's it. Purple queen is another name. So that was one thing. I'm going to unbox the next thing. And these are things I ordered. This isn't like something I got sent. Hey, a a alien at at alienated. Ooh, I struggle with that one. Oh. So I got this box here, and I'm gonna open this up. This is something that I ordered. And you can order too. If I should have had a pair of scissors beside me, you would, it would almost be like I've never recorded before. <laughs> the way I never have anything beside me I need. There we go, opening up this box. I gotta make sure I don't open it up with my address because some of y'all be wanting to knock at my door. So, I ordered and I got in the mail, which I needed these and I really wanted to do it. My Arbor. I am an Arbor ambassador. This was a trap. <laughs> to get you in about this. I'm an Arbor ambassador and I ordered these, which are the plant foods, 321 NPK, and then two of these, the bioprotectants. Um, here's the thing though. And prayerfully, I can announce this and not have to. Um, take it back. I'm going to be having a contest drop this week. Prayerfully on Wednesday. I just need one more person to respond to me and send me email. You will be able in this contest to, again, pending everything works out, win a prize that is valued at, I think, $250. Um, so... Keep a lookout, especially on Wednesday of this week. Wednesday, okay? What day? Wednesday. Now, those of you who are watching this on YouTube, this contest is only going to be, even though the video will post on YouTube, it's only going to be on Instagram. I wanted to do something big. I'm trying. I got a certain number in mind of followers I want to hit for petty reasons. I'll explain all that on my close friends group. So, hey, other people. Hey, everybody. So, contest coming up. Um, proven winners. I can announce that you will be able to get a prize um, of purchasing the plants you want from proven winners at a certain value. I'll announce all that on Wednesday. And another um, vendor, another business that I trust and I value will also be in that. And I will announce them later because I, I got cold feet. I was going to announce them now, but I need the email to send me so they can confirm that they're going to be a part of this hit giveaway. Hopefully, y'all are excited about that. Nobody typed anything about being excited about the giveaway. Um, I'm not hurt. <laughs> Anywho, somebody said, how do you use the green one? You got one of them for free, the green one. How do you use the green one? The green one is a bio protectant. So let's start off with Arbor. Arbor products are amazing. I am an Arbor ambassador. So if you go to the link in my bio, you can see. Thank you, Lori. See, see, Lori, this is why I'm going to plant your yard up. I'm going to plant you. You going to have, by the time I get done with your yard, Lori, you going to be Lori of the jungle. Flaglers of the farm. Just to, and thank you, Mason, for also being excited. I'm going to take care of you, Mason. I'm um, just excited to talk some plants through. Oh, did I freeze? I don't know how I cut this on. <laughs> I don't know how I did this. Um, this is how I think some of the people who talk real bad about me in the comments look. They be like, how dare you talk about in my gardener and Dr. Savior and Creative Explain, you fake botanist, you. How dare you talk about it? I use filming all the time to get my pants. My plants are growing all the time with filament and electroculture and all those little things there. And then I do that there, them things there. My plants be growing all quite right pretty, they do. But you just need to hush up. Hush up, boy. That's what they want to say. They want to say another word. But I'm amongst mixed company. Y'all fill it in. We are going to... <laughs> 
Okay, Arbor, let's talk about these products. We got real distracted. Arbor is great because I've actually talked to the CEO, the foundress herself, Vanessa, and uh, Callista, I believe is that other young lady's name. And the thing about these are, the NPK is so low. If y'all just missed that, y'all going to watch it on the replay. The NPK is so low on these. And at first I was like, I don't know if these are going to be really helpful because, again, NPK, nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, is how much nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium? Potassium is K. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Pota there we go. Either way. The NPK is so low. So I asked her about that. And it's also because she has, um, if you use all of these together, all of these together, it has, um, oh, she explained this in a certain way. Hey, Roman. Roman, I miss you so much. You still got my number because you never called me. Any whom, the, <laughs> I don't know why I'm this way. Any whom, um, So it's broken down in a way, <laughs> I'm too much. It is broken down in a way um, where it is immediately available to the plants. So this NBK is super low, but my plants have not had a lack um, of nutrient deficiency. They haven't had a lack. Now, I do want to also say that for transparency, because I talk about people with transparency, um, on these social medias where they be growing stuff and saying things work, but they also doing 40 other things. I use a bunch of different other fertilizers as well. So I do use a miracle Grow recently, the organic. I use slow releases. I have slow releases from past years and other things in my soils, right? I have microbial inoculants and everything else. So this product is supposed to boost your plant's immune system, cause an immune response, right? And it is this extract in here that's supposed to basically trigger your place to have an immune response to be more ready to fight um, disease. And that's what this green one is. It took me a very long time to get to that answer because I get distracted real easy. I hope the person who answered that is still up here, who asked for that is still up here because God knows um, fashionable for me. I hope you are still up here. Let me check. Because I know you were like, he went way out that you still here. Kima, Kima, you DM me because you waited a long time for me to get that answer. I went real all around the mulberry bush to monkey chase the weasel. So that's how this works. So they also have a yellow one, which is a miticide. Um, some of these are using beneficial bacteria in order to net positively implant, impact the plants or the um, extracts of plants to positively impact the plants. Thanks for keeping me company on my walk home. Got to bounce. Talk soon. Yes, Mason. You better be walking safe. I imagine Mason was walking home with sneakers, um, a pair of shorts on, a denim jacket, and a long sleeve shirt with a hoodie. That's what I imagine that Mason had on. Um, so, bingo bongo. So, what did we talk about in this unboxing? I unboxed, this was way quicker than I thought it was going to be, this trade scant here. And I also had bought this arbor that I had unboxed. I got two of each of these. And again, if you're like, Derek, I want them, but you know, I need to save some money. You go into the link in my bio, okay? Chocolate Botanist 15. The Chocolate Botanist 15, it's in the link in the bio. It'll tell you, use this code. You get 15% off, okay? I get a little kick. I do, but you get 15% off, okay? Use the link in my bio. I don't really be selling y'all stuff like that. I'm, I'm a good, I was a great salesman, but I just don't care about selling anymore. Um, it is very specific. So, and then the giveaway, I talked about that, the giveaway Wednesday, um, I'll be dropping it, it'll be 10 days, because I feel like instead of doing it on the next following Wednesday, if I do it three more days, that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that works for me, I'll be able to announce the person on the live um, who won on a Saturday night, a Saturday night. So, that's unboxing, I don't think I have anything else in here that's boxed up, I need to unbox. Um, y'all got any questions for this botanist before I jump off of this live? I said I was going to be here for 30 minutes, but I lied to y'all real bad. I'm working on a uh, speech, finishing touches of a uh, presentation, a lecture I'm going to be giving in um, Martha's Vineyard. So y'all got any other questions, comments, concerns for me? Hey, the meditative gardener. 
You missed it. You did. See, this is what happens. Instagram let y'all know. Y'all walk away. Y'all come back. Then it's like, I'm done talking. I done unboxed everything. I unboxed this. It was real quick. We talked. We laughed. And then I unboxed this. Because last time I was up here unboxing, I was up here for about an hour. And then two people joined. And then they wanted to be like, let's talk about this. No. <laughs> We're talking about plants. This is my live. Y'all can't come in here and and jump my stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go to Martha's Vineyard. Um, hopefully, Martha Stewart won't mind me being in her backyard. I imagine it's her vineyard. And hopefully, she won't be too upset with me being there. Because um, it's a good thing. And maybe, like, Snoop will be there and all the celebrities, you know. But, um... Questions, comments, concerns y'all got for a botanist? Before I hop off of here, I was going to go back and watch uh, the X-Men 97 again. I need a traveling assistant. Are you are you talking about somebody coming with me? Because, I mean, I do to a certain extent. I need a tra I need a, just an assistant, administrative assistant, who can do all the things I need. I have one. I'm trying to, um, she needs a computer. Her computer died. The devil is busy. But I, I need a person who could just coordinate all the stuff and make sure everything is ready for. I could be like, you need me to spend the money, just let me know. And I spend the money and get, I got a lot of headspace above me. I don't know why I set this up like this. I must have been really rushing. I don't know why you didn't tell me. I had a lot of space above my head. My God, y'all didn't tell me nothing. Um, so I need an assistant. I need somebody who can talk to the people and who I trust. Mm, I don't see. I just touched the screen. I'm nowhere near where the little emoji thing is. I don't know how that happened. But I just needed an assistant who I also don't mind like knowing my money and knowing how much I'm getting off of any of the lectures I get. Because I don't want... Everybody can't know my business. Um, one day. One day. So y'all don't got no questions for this plant biologist? Nothing? Y'all don't got nothing? I just want to sit and watch me? Oh! I lied. I do have one more thing to show y'all. God, I forgot. <laughs> Ooh, I almost tripped over everything over here. That would have been the end of the live. That's just how I feel. <laughs> Ooh. There was a lot of me in that camera screen. Okay, Pothos Poppy, we have a party. Okay, let's see. I need some foliage in my house. Um, that reminds me. I got to give a plant to that miss who I brought away. I was supposed to give it to her and that miss, that dip doctor district. Whew. So foliage in houses. Partner plant for strawberries. Oh, I've seen that before. I think some people said marigolds because the smell of them are supposed to keep pests away, like rabbits and squirrels and crap. Um, but if you're trying to like protect your strawberries, it's better to get a cloche, C-L-O-C-H-E, cloche. It's like a little plastic, it's almost like, you could do the same thing with like a plastic to-go cup. You can just put it over your plant and fix it down and it protects them. So I bought some plants from the South East Gardening Show and I want to show off these plants I got. If y'all want to see these plants, say, who yeah. I know y'all ain't going to type anything, though. But um, I got some plants. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all some of these plants I got in here. I actually had purchased at another place. And I just threw them all in here together. So let's see. This is a Pothos Neon. Not that. Okay, so I got this one. I don't remember what this is. But it has all this mold over the soil now. I don't remember... I don't remember what this was, and it's really wet, which I'm trying to squeeze some of this moisture out of the soil. It's super wet. I watered these, I want to say last week. So whatever this mix is, it's holding water like nobody's business, and it's molding real bad. So I'm going to peroxide this a little later, but I want it to dry out first. I'm going to sit on a heating mat, dry it out, and then... It could be a Florida ghost. It's like $10. So the Southeast uh, gar plant show was in at the Atlanta area in Lawrenceville. And um, I went and purchased a lot of plants. I did a live. I did two lives, three lives when I was out there in that area. 
It's not sweet potato plain. It's definitely somebody's um, aeroid, right? So I got this. This one I had already had. A lot of these are just super wet. Huh. I bought this, which is somebody's Singanium. Singanium White Butterfly. Okay, I prefer Black Butterfly by Denise. Uh, hmm, I can't remember Denise's last name, musician. It's okay, it's gonna come to me. But y'all see this? I got this. This one was $5. $5, y'all hear me? This one I think was 10 but this little baby here, and I was like, okay, let's do that. I can grow, I can grow a plant. Then I got this here from Curvy Plant. My girl, Curvy Plant Co. Somebody tag her in the comments. Denise Williams, thank you. Somebody tag her in the comments. Curvy Plant Co., all one word, I think. I got this baby. This is a philodendron, Jose Bueno. And you see how happy this is? And the plants I've gotten from her have been dope. I just need to, like, actually keep them alive. But the plants I got from her were dope. Then I kind of crushed this one a little bit because I had knocked something over on it. So it looks a little bad, but I don't want you to judge me. Do not judge me for what you're about to see. This here is a variegated vanilla. The vanilla you eat, the vanilla beans, the vanilla, it's a vanilla orchid. And this is that orchid. And if I grew this long enough in the right conditions, and then I pollinated a flower, and I was successful in it, and I would have to do it by hand, early in the wee hours, and then wait nine months, I could have my own vanilla bean. It takes a while, right? But vanilla variegated. Okay. Then I got this one from a woman. This was a mother. I wish I wrote her, her business name down. She was just selling plants. She just was like, I just want to sell these plants. And I'm not really for no prices. I got a bunch of mixed match pots. Like this was just somebody who was like, I just went on to sell plants. In my, tw in my in my retirement years. Now she was like, you gotta take it with the pot. And this is the pot, right? And I wanted to be like, mother, I do not want this pot. And I support my black businesses. I wanna be like, give that pot to somebody else they can have two. And she's like, no, you gotta take the shade. And I'm thinking, I don't want that. Give it to somebody else. Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. So, hopefully these people I'm waving at are still in here. This is a uh, variegated uh, stingray, alocasia stingray. It's amazing I turned it and just held the other way. Oh, that's crazy. Um, and you can see it's called a stingray because it has that little stingray-like-ish thing. But you can also see that little bit of variegation there. Y'all see that little bit of variegation? That's nice. It's kind of cute. Is that a lampshade? It is. It's a little lampshade. And she put a little bag at the bottom so that she watered it before I left. And I was like, Mother, you do not have to water this because I water it when I get home. Because I don't want to carry a wet, dripping plant. She's like, no, 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 I'll water it. I love black people. So, it's in this pot. <laughs> but this is literally a lampshade. I know some of y'all love this. It wasn't for me. So that was that one. Then this one is also covered in mold. This was another plant. I don't remember what these were. I wish he had wrote the I wrote the name down or something on them. So it's another one I got from the Southeast Plant Show. I went out there, I spoke. Let mother mother is right because she was going to do it regardless. And I could tell her daughter was just there to support her because daughter looked like she didn't want to have no parts. I was like, come on, man, daughter, don't do it. This here, oh, who did I get this from? I got this from some black people before I left. I was about to leave and I got this from some black people. I cannot remember what this is. There's a friend I have who's in the area who you can show her a plant and she'll name the plant in its entirety. I might have to show this to her. But I also got it because I was like, look at this pot. But, um, and this is not to come against it. I'm talking great about black people. But I feel like a lot of people use heavy mixes. And they just stay wet so long. And it's probably because they don't water as often as I do. But um, somebody say Peru. Hey, them green things. How are you going to come in here and tell me what a plant is? Like, which one was it? Which one was the Peru? Mm. 
Was it the small one? Or was it the big one? You just can't say Peru. Hopefully they didn't just come in and leave. Hey there, the Zoes, Ozandria. The last one, the big one. <clears throat> Who is this calling me Buki? The big one. Look, you keep, I, I can't say what I want to say because I got church members up here. Any whom, I almost slipped. We're going to go ahead to the next one. We have Milk Confetti Singanium. Okay. You you missed what I was saying. It's all right. The <laughs> Milk Singanium. Y'all see this, this pink? It looks so yellow in here for some reason. Hold on. There we go. My colors are real off in here. It's because some of y'all are yellow. Let's see. No. That's a little better. Okay, there we go. Say it. I'm not going to say See, See, Lori's like that little voice on the other side here. They'd be like, say it, Derek. Say it. I ain't going to say what I was thinking. But them green things, if you could read between the lines, get my DM. So... When I got this one here, this one was twelve dollars. Um, TNT plants and things. It was dope, and they had a lot of people selling like a lot of beautiful plants. Um, Singaniums are dope and easy, but they just the milk of something. The milk of this is milk confetti. And again, y'all can kind of see these pinks, these pinks and greens, and this it's like, it's literally like milk and confetti. I just wish, if I had it plugged in my ring light, you'd see it better. But y'all can kind of see some of them pinks on the leaf. This is really upsetting me that y'all can't see this. I'm usually better prepared with my light source. Let's see. There we go. Now y'all can see some of the pinks. Bingo bongo. I knew I could do this. I've been recording myself too long to be able to fail like this. Um, boom, boom, boom. And then the last one I'm excited about, and then I'm going to leave, is this here. So I'm going to take it out of the plastic. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. This is a philodendron strawberry shake. Now, I did not plan on spending a lot of money at the Atlanta... The Southeast Plant Show. That's where I got these from. And it's a yearly event. But even though I got these from uh, an Asian vendor, when I see um, you need to find that milk, Lori, if you give me enough time, if it gets big enough, I can give you some of this, um, this thing on you. But this wasn't a pop-up. This was a, uh, um, the Southeast Plant Show was an actual, like, two-day conference. People can come, buy plants, talk about plants, trade plants, whatever. So I got this from an Asian vendor. I don't remember who. It doesn't say it on the sticker here. It does tell me the price. I try not to think about it. But this was a philodendron, is a philodendron strawberry shake. And it's been in the plastic since I got back a couple of weeks ago. And it's in this here, sphagnum moss. I didn't open it because I was like, and this sphagnum moss is probably moist enough to hold on. And if I do a repot, I'm gonna have to like do a legitimate repot of this. So I'm gonna cover this back up. It's not gonna be as pretty as they had it though. But strawberry shake filled injury. I had one I got from Gunter's Greenhouse in Durham. And it's gone as well as this philodendron white knight. Y'all see this? I had forgot the water when I got dropped off into a depressive state at this job I was working at. I hated the job I used to have. Them people I used to work with, a majority of them were cool people, but a couple of them were just like that type of leader that is not a good leader at all, but they think they are. And they're so smart that they're like stupid, like intelligent idiots. Like you are very... Um, book smart but you don't got like social and emotional intelligence like they try to outsmart the books and tell the books was knowledge 
and I heard a long time ago, if you try to outsmart the books and you try to hop over the books and tell the books what's learning, your mind goes bad and these people's mind was spoiled like some milk out in the sun outside. So I let it die. But this has a couple of like one good growing point right here. I can see one good root right here. I was like, why am I in the shadow? I forgot I did that. One good growing point right here. So I'll be able to prop it if I so want. But I'm gonna let it grow. Grow and go, grow and grow. So that's it. Those are all the things I had to unbox. Ah! So if you are just now joining, it's sad, if you missed me talking about all of these, and this, and this, and the giveaway on Wednesday. So that means if you don't have that like little alarm on to watch my posts on Instagram, to watch that I'm going to drop something, like y'all should like have that on. Like you should have that like little notification bell on or whatever. I don't know what it's called. Because when I do go live, sometimes I give away money. It's very, it's only been one time. Sometimes I'll be like, at the end of the thing, drop your cash app. I'm going to give two people $5. Um, the first two people who drop their cash apps, I'm going to give both of them $5. Um, sometimes I just do that randomly and then people do it. And then I can say $5, $5 because you just should stay and see what a scientist has to say. Um, how do you know when a plant is dead versus not dormant? There's a good reason. There's a good way of question. So I generally dig down and I look at the roots. So this plant is a philodendron erubescence, right? Philodendron E, the letter E, rubescence, like rubricate, the color red, ruby. Um, it's the predecessor to like your pink princess philodendron and a bunch of other philodendrons that have somebody shade of red in them. How do I know that this is dead versus dormant? I'll look at the roots. So I was gonna just pull it out, but I was like, this is how you get dirt everywhere, Derek. And then you be upset. What's the E for? That's the actual specific epithet. So philodendron and then erubescence. I was trying to spell it out for you or make it make sense. So E-R-U-B-E-S-C-E-N-S, -E -E erubescence, I believe. Um, so if I take this out, this soil looks like who doesn't know why. Very dry, right? But these roots are looking mostly still alive. This plant still has some bend to it. Right, it's not like all the way dried out and gone, right? Versus this one, which I just pulled it apart. Now, even then, sometimes I'll go through the root and look at the root and see like, is the root alive? And when I dig into this, all I'm getting is a hole in dirt. There's nothing, there's no root available. So sometimes you have to really dig Dig deeper. That's what we said on one of the episodes of the Cosby Show. Um, you're gonna dig deeper and go deep into your soil and see, like, okay, does this? You were just gonna leave this on for now because I'm trying to wave at people um, and see, like, if their roots are actually alive. Same like with the outdoor plants, right? With the outdoor plants, the top half of the soil can die off and those roots can still be there. So those of you who are living in um, zone eight, like I am, you may go elephant ears. Your elephant ears, the alocasia, colocasia, somebody casia, are like this baby here. I put it outside. It's beautiful. The winter comes. If I mulch it up right and I take care of it right, that top foliage dies. But underneath on the ground, if you were to check it and you were able to have like a special x ray machine where you could look and see in the soil perfectly what that, that tuber is, you would see this giant tuber. Just sitting there chilling out. Same with this plant right here. This is a alocasia I have growing in the house. Um, if I was to put it outside, or the ones I have outside growing in pots, if I mulch them properly, again, that top foliage will die, that bulb will still be there, and I would be able to check it out. So sometimes you have to just dig around in your plant and say, like, hey, is this alive? Is this okay? Sometimes I just water plants that look dead at the top because I'm like, well, let's just see if I give you a little bit of water and wait. Hey, Paige. Hey. This is great. She missed the unboxing, but I saw yours, so I'm going to do this just for you because you just came on. So I had this trade Scantia that I got 
from, um, I think, Paves Plants. And then I bought some stuff from Arbor because I'm an Arbor ambassador. And then you are late for the ambassador. It would be, I was about to say something, but we amongst mixed company. <laughs> I caught myself. I was about to be like, this is us. Am I late? I only came an hour after you started. It, so I did that. I'm an Arbor ambassador. Um, I showed off. I'm going to start off with the big dog. Okay. Philodendron strawberry shake. Okay. Black boy plant joy. He had one of these and he showed it to me in a group chat. And I wanted to break into his house and steal it. And I didn't. I bought my own. Okay, and then this is Alocasia Stingray that is variegated. So y'all better y'all better thank Paige that she came in here because if she didn't come in here, I was gonna show the rest of you people this stuff again. Then I had this. Um, make sure I'm grabbing the right plants. I also have a cactus in here, so I gotta be real careful. I have this confetti, milk confetti syngonium. You see the specks of pink on that pale green. Okay, then. We had this, which is a philodendron, Jose Bueno. I got these from the Southeast Plant Show. And then that's why I drove my car there, because I did do a haul. Um, Singanium White Butterfly. Somebody said the big one. What did you say the big one was? The person that's supposed to be DMing me after this. What did you say the big one was? Peru, Monastero, Peru, Philodendron, Peru, Philodendron, Peru, and you got this one. How was the show, Paige? I, it was great, Paige. I'm gonna tell you more after this. I need you to. It was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. But I'll DM you and talk with you more so I can be um, uncensored. Um, this is. Oh, I just showed y'all this one. This random baby here, you will be waiting. That's good. I hope the missus is okay. How's the missus doing? How is your missus doing? Are y'all married? Did I make that up? Vanilla variegated. You see this, the variegations? And this is vanilla orchid. Again, for those of you who don't know, the vanilla you enjoy, the beans, is orchids. Um. And then I think this is a philodendron Florida ghost. And that's all the plants I got there. I got some other plants I had purchased from other events. But yes, one of these days, you know, if y'all invited me, I'd love to be y'all's wedding singer. I only know three songs. Um, but I'll sing any song you want. I only know three songs. Um, it's going to be meet me at the altar in your white dress. But I don't know anything but the chorus. I'm going to mumble through. The song. All I know is, see, first of all, that's what I'm going to do. The whole song. People need to be drunk by the time I get up there. And then the O'Reilly's theme song. Because you can't have a party turn up without oh, 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 O'Reilly's auto part. Ow! And then the last song, certainly not least, okay, is, um, it's a song that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, it is joyful, joyful, but it's the version from Sister Act 2, and I do all the parts. I've already had it recorded, okay? I'm, I do everything. Doom, 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 boom, boom. Now, you get extra credit if you can get Shirley Ralph to come and sit down looking upset in your audience. Anywho, these are all the plants I have. <laughs> I'm too much. These are all the plants I had. This is all the stuff I hauled in. Those of you coming in here at the very last minute, you're going to have to see this again either here or you go to YouTube. <laughs> you can't fire me. You can't fire me because I quit. You're going to have to go here or you're going to go to the YouTube um, and watch this again on YouTube because it will be there. My videos, these lives and all of my videos go directly to my YouTube. So y'all want to fast forward through real quick? Y'all can do that on YouTube. I have it done automatically. One day, I'll do a class or something, and y'all come in. If I get like five people, if I get like 200 people to pay like $10, I'll oh, probably $30 to learn this. Um, that's five grand, and I can put that on my car. 
my car payment I got now. So, Lindsay, did you just join in here? Did I miss her? Lord, she ain't here no more. It's okay. I got excited for nothing. Y'all have a beautiful day. <laughs> I thought Lindsay was in here. Y'all have a beautiful day. Let me go back up to this person who I was supposed to be DMing because I want to screenshot that name because that's the person I am. Wow. So y'all have a beautiful day. Um, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will be in the Martha's Vineyard area on Wednesday through Friday. So if you're in that area of Boston, um, let me know. Come out and see me at Polly Hill Arboretum. I didn't promote this is great at all. I need, I need to do better with my promotions. But that is it. Y'all have a beautiful day and enjoy the rest of y'all's week.